There is a lot of different necromancer legendaries in this game that are going to be crucially important to pick up. And in this video, we're going to be talking about three of the legendary items that you absolutely are not going to want to miss or destroy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this list. Let's get going into number three. Now, the number three is definitely Desolat Desolatoria. I think I got that right. This weapon is insane. What it actually does is it alternates your golem. Instead of a golem that stuns and taunts people, it turns it into a fiery molten lava golem that's going to increase and do DPS damage around all the enemies around it. What this means is it allows you to group all your enemies in a rift, then drop the molten golem directly on top for that vast amounts of AoE damage. And it's one of the only ways that we can get a good amount of AOE damage for the Necromancer. So definitely keep your eye out for this main hand weapon. Now it might not be quite so efficient for the bosses. Maybe some other golems might be better for single target damage, but we have other ways that we can deal with single target damage. Like we have a channeling uh, version of bone spirits that can be pretty good for hitting single target damage. There's other ways we can deal with that single target. So I think that molten golem is going to be for clearing out trash mobs, sort of like what we see on the screen right here. All right, and number two is gonna be Guided by Maggots. This is a legendary pants. And what these pants are actually going to do is your Dark Curse no longer decreases your enemy vision, but instead causing your minions within the area to frenzy, increasing their attack and movement speed. The reason I want this one in particular is because, let's be honest, it's a Necromancer. The whole point of the Necromancer is to have your summons be doing the work for you. And this is another such legendary item that's going to be increasing my DPS with my summons by increasing their attack and movement speed. Movement speed is very important in this game because it's all about how quick can we clear the greater rift. So we're going with the, the minions moving as quickly as possible from mob to mob and killing them as quickly as possible. And that is where the guided by maggots is going to come in at my number two legendary item. Now, one of the absolute best items in the entire game is in the Necromancer in a legendary form in a chest plate and of course what this chest plate is is this is the parting gifts chest plate what this allows you to do is your bone armor skill which normally just per protects you from an amount of damage actually makes it where it grants damage immunity each hit will be prevented 100 percent and there's only a certain amount of hits you can have i believe in the beta it was five total stacks of this meaning once you have it awakened it decreases the cooldown as well and then you're going to be spamming this to grant total 100% immunity from all damage. This is going to be really big in PvE, for instance, if you think like a boss shot, but it's also gonna be important in PvP because bone armor reducing damage from other players is gonna help you stay alive long enough to get your CC abilities out and hopefully stun them long enough for the people that are doing the damage on your team, since Necromancer isn't really like a super high DPS class, to stun them long enough for the other classes to come in. Parting Gifts is absolutely the number one item that you want to keep your eyes out for. And if you get an opportunity to snag this item, this is the one you're going to want to pick from the vault, from choosing your legendary, all of the different ways that you can. Oh, look at this. We got a, a follow right now. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, by the way. Appreciate you. So this right here. 100% is going to be your number one, in my opinion, absolute best item you can get for the Necromancer. It's going to be basically game changing, okay? It's gonna be the reason people want you in the party and it's gonna help you in PVE as well as PVP. So to go through that list once again, the number three item was going to give you a Command Golem in the Fire version here under Desolatoria. That will give you a Summon Molten Golem. Okay, the second item for me that was most wanted is going to be the Guided by Megat's Pants to increase your attack speed and movement speed of your minions to make them stronger. And then of course, we're going to be wanting in the chest plate that parting gift bone armor. Now this isn't a full build. This is just three of the items that I think are gonna be some of the most important legendary items to keep your eyes out for. And hopefully you guys have some rest of the builds that you're thinking about putting together. I'm gonna mention some honorable mentions here just real quick. If in fact, if you are going that command golem build, Maybe you want the Visitant Sign, which is going to increase the duration of Command Golem, for instance, if you're really going for that molten type of Golem build. And the Shoulders, if you look at the Shoulders, this one I like as well, which compared good with bone, uh, the Bone Armor, now grants uh, immunity to all effects which knock you out of position. So now if you have that Shoulder Please plus the Chest Please, you're immune to all damage and you're immune to being knocked out position. And then this one's going to be 
reducing the cooldown of that as well. So that's gonna pair very well with the chest plate of parting gifts too. So that way you can get basically complete and other immunity with that bow and armor skill, which is gonna be very important. You can see both the awakens, you get the cooldown decrease on that one. And then the shoulders are also gonna give you a cooldown decrease. So you're gonna be having that one up even more common. Now I know people are gonna ask about the other pieces. So just real quick, I'll mention here the off hands. Okay. Now, if I'm doing the command golem build, there's not too much good for the offhands, except the one that's just going to increase your damage, the beacon of the lead. So that's going to increase sort of your AOE moment golem damage. And then it's going to increase its summons life by 10% when awakened. You can go that way. You can also go where your bone golem splits into two smaller bone golems when it dies, which increases the summon damage by 10% when it's awakened. So you can still get that 10% damage in another way. Now me, myself, I'm probably going to want the damage increase and the summons life increase. I'll probably end up doing beacon of the lead, but there is other ways you can go go here i'm not a hundred percent sewed on the offhand yet because instead there's your skeletal da uh, skeletal champions can take some of your damage you can decrease the time to raise new skeletons and this one's quite interesting bone wall is a pvp move and can be ignited with so fire dealing damage over eight seconds to nearby enemies so what you could actually do is have that bone wall in there put that in the middle with the molten golem and then hit it with so fire in order to do more aoe damage so there is other such builds that maybe, you know, don't have to be 100% on the money. I think the core ones are the ones we really mentioned um, with the, the Guided by Maggots, the Desolatoria, they get that Golem, especially the Desolatoria, because without this Molten Golem, your AoE damage is going to definitely not be as significant. So make sure you pick up that one. And some of the other ones here say that, uh, like this one's gonna give him like a Skeletal Zaman, uh, golem that consumes powers from all the nearby corpses that might be great but then you're going to need corpses in order to continue to have the power and then you're constantly going to be worried about the corpses whereas the molten one for me is significantly more inciting because it's just constant aoe damage around it at all times and that's probably what i'm going to be focusing on with that being said that just breaks down some of the necromancer legendaries i'm going to be picking in my top three favorite i love y'all thanks for watching this video consider subscribing if you want to see more diablo more uh, content and informative videos and i'll see you on the next one